Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man version of uh, the um, successful beta one of this mod. We're in month number four and currently trying to just grind through the missions at the beginning of the month. Here is an important one where we're trying to uh, counter an unknown dark event plus get 25 intel. But when looking at the squad, we we really have um, only fielded the the last available um, soldiers. So I'm not run one hundred percent confident that we can actually pull it off. Um, however, we're only fighting against twelve enemies, so it depends. It will very much depend on how the mission plays out. Um, careful. Careful, careful, because uh, it could soon turn into a total party kill. And <clears throat> we're back in the mix. Let's take a look. 13 rounds. By the way, our team, two specialists. We barely have uh, laser weapons on one of them. A sniper, a rookie, and a grenadier. Not necessarily the most inspiring team. This is our target. If we can make it up to there... We might be fine. First things first. Taking a long sprint into full cover. We gotta be a little bit careful as uh, the distance towards the target is relatively high and keep in mind we have 12 enemies so my main concern is that our firepower is not going to be high enough in order to get chew through them because 12 enemies is a lot if you think about it it very much of course depends on the type of enemy but you can easily end up with yeah 100 100 tish hit points more than that it's maybe even more than that so that's a viper plus two sectoids see that alone is almost 30 hit points right there Okay, can we put our sniper somewhere? This is probably the best position for now. I would really like to get him into high ground though. So we know that, yeah, the spec will eventually come around. They are somewhat divided, but I'm wondering. Yeah, that would only hit one of them, uh, two of them. Yeah, it seems indeed that they are divided. So how about, how about we're going for an overwatch here. And an eight protocol overwatch here. That way we can aggressively flank with her. So it's two overwatches, and the rookie will not be able to deal a lot of damage, but we're using a grenade that actually could work. Of course, would have been better to hit all three of them, but seven damage is fine. Okay. 
Come on, kill him. Very nice. Oh wow, the Viper slithered far, far away. Damn, I want to follow up, but I am afraid that we're going to find someone or something else back here. Again, first things first, with five turns. I wish I knew where that sectoid had had been gone. He can't move so uh, so far away. He he was only just just about here. So he must be at some location. There we go. That's exactly where he's at. So this here would flank him. Moving over here would definitely flank him, and we are in half cover. Uh, so, actually full cover it is. Got another pack that almost was to be expected, but we are in full cover. And we're flanking him. That might be a kill. Ah, barely. Could move up and kill him, but we would be in uh, in the open. Yeah. Don't want to give up my cover. So instead, let's move here, which will likely provoke the Viper to use poison on the two of them. Both of them, of course, have a medkit and are immune. 25% is certainly um, not good enough. Yeah, we could. <sighs> Difficult. That would uh, that would take away her tongue grab, and she would probably just take a shot. Yeah, I think we need to do that for now. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it for the mission. I don't see our team uh, standing any chance against him. Watchful can enter Overwatch upon the end of the turn and does not trigger Overwatch. Yeah, great. Only chance to get to him is High Ground or Templar. We certainly don't have a Templar, so yeah, I, I really don't think that that's going to work out unless his... Zombies are so weak in long war. The elders must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the chosen. We should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it causes too much trouble. Do you feel their pain, Commander? Do you share their agony? All right, we're under heavy fire. Oh, 
white boy. It's getting worse and worse. So we can kill the sick dude, but it's still two further operatives over here. Which means we should probably optimize our turns. Rookie moves in and kills the sick dude. think forty five percent is is not good at all. We need higher chances so we need to get upstairs. Might as well holo target him. The mech is definitely dangerous, but no one can see it. The Viper is dangerous. We're going rapid deployment. This year will hopefully take care about both of them for this particular turn. Moving up here, and I hope that we can kill the Grenadier. We're going to... I'm thinking about giving Pitbull our Grenadier aid protocol. Very much depends on whether or not she can kill him. There is a certain percent chance that this could be a kill. It's not which means definitely need to give her the aid protocol to make it full cover. That on the other side forces us to stay here and not move. I mean, we could try to go for full cover here or fall back to here, I suppose. Yeah, chances of hitting any of those guys is really slim. The mech will definitely come in next turn. And we're standing too, clutch, uh, too much uh, clutched up, so... I am going to go back into another full cover. Instead of going for overwatch here, I would like them to try to shoot into a hunkered down target. Our chances are, don't get me wrong, they are horrible anyways. So might as well overwatch for the mech once it comes in. These guys here are luckily, uh, uh, luckily uh, they are blinded. Gotta kill both of them. Overwatch? Alright, that's that was a good turn, 
I was hoping that that would happen. Last, last pack is probably here. Got to deal with a spectral rupture zombie. <laughs> But got to deal with so many other things as well. Pitbull needs a new aid protocol. And in order to survive that, I think we got to go for the risky play of taking over uh, the mech. That's why we're going to evac soon anyways. How are our chances? Oh, 30% only. Hmm. That's difficult. I don't like high risk plays. I'm I'm more on the side of caution. So I think the right play here is to disable it because we can't break the mech uh, this turn going to try to do that. Fuck, we could have controlled it. Ah. Okay, the danger is still not not over. It's far from over. Got to deal with the overwatches there, and need to pull him further back, which is probably going to trigger both of the overwatches. Don't see another way of of doing it. Luckily, both of them were blinded, so that's okay. Got to deal with the zombie first. Gosh, so little damage. Wow, minimum damage. How is that even possible? Look, this is going to suck so much, right? I had him. I could have just moved over, take a shot, moved over here, flanked him. Both of them would have been dead. The plan was already there. The inability to execute it, this is what really sucks. But we, we can't let uh, the zombie simply continue with that. Sucks big times because we had a really, really strong position there. Can't hit both of them together. Can't recklessly go in and kill it.
Not even sure if we can deal five points of damage even on a flank shot regularly. If we want to play it safe, the right course of action is lock a grenade here, kill kill this guy. Because the Rocketeer can still use his rocket. On the other hand, he can as well and might even uh, use it. This here is another option. Flashbanging them for the third time in a row. But it leaves this flank here open. Difficult decision. I think we got to take the Grenadier off. And this here might be the right uh, the right way of doing it. It would cost us some loot, but we can't collect that anyways at the moment. Poison. No, an Overwatch. Interesting. This guy will need to reload next turn, so he can't reposition and fire. Rocket. Okay. The firefight is interesting. So finally we can flank him and he needs to reload. Okay, so that will uh, work if we want to shred him. We need to reload anyways if we want to do anything. And let's try to shred the mech. Grenade. I don't think that a single sniper shot will kill it. And I would rather like to take a normal shot. basically hitting it um, and then finish him with a sniper to get death from above. It's a bonus action that we could desperately need, uh, desperately use. I like his position back here, very strong cover. So we're going to reload and let's see if we can severely injure the, uh, the mech. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Alright, death from above into reload, which was needed. Standing still in full cover. Let's be, rather be safe than sorry and hand over the aid protocol there. Our rookie is less important than Pitbull. And Pitbull only has three hit points left over. And we're going to Overwatch. How did that not trigger Overwatch? There's the reload I, that I was predicting.
All right, moving over here to still uh, retain the high ground and not trigger the overwatch. Next rapid deployment. Yes, please. Hitting both of them. Essentially removing the overwatch. Can't reach him. Could have a solid shot onto the gunner. Let's see what our sniper is to say. I mean, it's above 50%. I think that's as good as it gets when it comes to half cover, uh, to full cover. Might as well give it a go. Almost down. Yeah, the 25% really are not good enough. We need to continue supporting Pitbull over here with full cover. Thirty seven per cent. Normal grenade essentially doesn't hit him. Thirty seven per cent are better than nothing. It's almost forty per cent. I was hoping for a grazing shot. Clearly didn't work out. I'm going to go in. Can eliminate one of them. That would be very helpful. Still 25%. 30% for the Viper. These are just really, really bad odds. Moving over here. Or moving over here, which wouldn't be the worst idea, so we could try to aggressively flank them next turn. Let's do that. The SMG doesn't hit shit on range anyways. Overwatch. And I'll take a 25... Ah. That's Overwatch. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what we needed right now. Wow. Spectral Rupture. Yeah. For a long time it almost looked like us having a solid chance in here. It starts feeling less and less like that. I 
We can kill this guy with a grenade. Remove the flashbang with our rookie. But what then? What is it that we're trying to achieve? We're being marked here. This guy is in full cover. 50-50 shots as best at best. Gotta reload here in order to uh, hit the zombie. This here could be a kill, probably would be, but it forces our sniper to move. So the question is, can the sniper kill something before he needs to move? Essentially, could we maybe get rid of uh, this piece of cover? If we would, this would actually mean moving down here, throwing a grenade. But then again, the Viper has Overwatch. If we continue to move here into, into flanking position, this guy would move to here and continue flanking us, probably killing the rookie. Another option could be moving in. We know though, because we've seen that there is one more soldier, making it very unlikely that that's a good idea. Standing here, suicidal. Moving to here could kill him. Maybe that's an idea. Essentially moving to here and try to to face him. That would trigger an overwatch shot from the Viper, which is disoriented. So moving here, killing him, best case. Uh, moving down here into cover lopping a grenade, removing this cover, taking a shot, killing the viper, um, death from above in order to move down and away from the explosion, laser uh, rifle shot, killing the zombie. Well, and then reload and kill this guy. That would be an awesome turn, wouldn't it? That is, there are a lot of ifs and whens, but we don't have too many options. Rookie moves over. We need a hit. 50-50. Come on. Okay. Not the end of the world. It just means we need one more turn there. Moving into half cover. Free reload. Getting rid of her cover. That's in kill range. Sixty six percent or a crit, so more than seventy percent to actually kill it. Moving to here. Reload first to optimize our action economy. Kill this guy. Shit. But we still have a backup plan. Just means we can't kill anyone else. Come on. Fuck. Uh, well planned, but the margins were too slim. Whoa. 
into full cover. Oh. Suppression. Okay. The next shot will be painful. Should have just ignored the zombie. I thought he would deal six points of damage. Five more rounds, it's getting close. All in. There we go. Again, got to move up here. Our next target is the Grenadier. Forty percent is not good. Could move up to here. Wouldn't kill him though. Could move up to here, flank him, but that requires yeah, it doesn't require him to be dead. It's actually not a bad spot, plus we can stabilize next turn and revive. That's actually the play that I'm going to do. But instead of going upstairs, back upstairs, let's try to take our shots at the Grenadier. That was a solid 40% shot. Quote unquote solid. Didn't work out. Tried it twice. Didn't work out. So we can stabilize her next turn. I would instead want to take the option to flank. Wow, that's going to be pretty close. Now the Warlock joins us as well. The only good part about it is it freezes uh, our timer. No problem, she had an empty magazine, no grenades, so that was the worst target to to mind control. Lost our, oh shit, lost our cover here. Difficult, overall, just very, 
difficult. Sniper's got a reload. We're really not doing super well. Could go up to here. That could be a kill. Can't though. Half cover, half cover. That's the only full cover. The rookie can't kill us next turn, so might as well take it. Can't be standing here in the open. Specifically not with um, with uh, with being marked. Warlock was here, I think, so he could go to here and could oversee that, which means half cover. So this here is the bare outer limit of reaching him. We move up to here, but that would be very dangerous. Single hit could kill her. Although, being in full cover here, well, he could move over and flank her and kill her. Not sure how suicidal the AI is, but I could see that happening. Okay, moving into full cover. I guess that's the best spot we could find. Finally, we killed him. Gotta take our shots. Okay, we're, we're still very, very injured. Got to deal with him. Yes, no, maybe. Oh shit, he always goes on to Overwatch. He always goes on to Overwatch. So since the timer is frozen, what I actually would propose is the following. We're doing a full-fledged retreat here. This here should miss. It's a very bad chance to hit with this overwatch. Good. We're going to overwatch. So when the gunner comes in that we can get him. Come on, kill him. No.
It's really bad. It is really bad. Can't believe that that is really happening. All right, at some point. Just gotta accept that the mission was uh, too difficult. Out of sheer will of force. <laughs> We at least made it out of here without any casualties. I don't know if my performance was poor in that fight. I would say, given the tools available, we fought valiantly, but essentially it just wasn't enough. We killed a lot of shit, but it simply wasn't enough. The two specialists came in extremely handy um, for regeneration and revival purpose, but we were we were lacking DPS clearly. I think we even got some loot out of it and a promotion. Two long-term wounded uh, characters and an infantry. Okay. Well, you know, the rookie did really fight pretty well overall. Oh, we did not gain the loot. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Well, I think it's fair to say by looking at our roster that we need to invest some time in letting them heal faster and get an infirmary going, which already happens so before we build the regional tower which is also helpful yeah decreasing effectiveness of resistance members applied um, um uh, uh, assigned to uh, supplies so good for us we only have one region that essentially is doing supplies at the moment intel recruiting vigilance 12 wow we gotta we gotta get we gotta liberate this area very soon in six days to be precise.
Rena Levin has been recruited in um, Western Africa. That's good. Keep on recruiting, please. We're back to 10. Need three more. And then we're good to go. And we we got a Shinobi and a Specialist. Look at that. Which means our last rookie is going to be another Specialist, I think. Let's check for the new recruits. Got a color code. Okay, much better. Again. Okay, much better. Yep. And there we go. So overall, we got a couple of decent uh, rookies here. Enough available soldiers, so that should be fine. Let's check basically the constellation of our classes. So we got four assaults, probably need one more there. Three grenadiers, three gunners, three rangers, four sharpshooters, four shinobis, six uh, specialists getting a sevens one now. Ah. Maybe instead of specialist, we're going for another assault. Or another shinobi. Let's go for one more shinobi. It's always good to have a scout in the um, the blade storm attacks or the uh, melee attacks are actually quite helpful because they are super reliable in hitting and killing enemies. Five more days under magnetic weapons. That is fine. Let's keep on infiltrating Our next operation will put us right in the middle of chosen territory perfect Amish and advent uh, troop column which will allow us to uh, to get enemy material and this time we do have a good squad uh, squad with us also by looking at uh, the n number of wounded people much better if if we do the next mission these uh, two will come back uh, Roby will come back as well so we got a really good squad um, for our uh, for the infiltration mission for the advent um, HQ and yeah we can do that in the next a uh, couple of uh, sessions basically going for the liberation of the area. Thank you so much for watching today. As always, if you enjoyed the content, leave a comment and a like down below and see you very soon. Bye-bye.